Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be reviewing the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation. Now this isn't really new, it's just reformulated, repackaged and just clean overall free of those nasty chemicals that the old one has which I have right here with me. So this is just like a reformulation of this powder right here. And this powder does retail for $43. It says it's a pressed powder formula, long wearing, waterproof, matte finish, full coverage, best for oily combo normal skin. A lightweight medium to full coverage powder, foundation that blurs the look of imperfections, and mattifies for up to 24 hours for natural real skin finish. Visibly reduces the appearance of texture immediately and for up to 24 hours. It's free of parabens, foam methylhydes, phthalates, mineral oil, sulfates, tricarbon, and contains less than 1% synthetic fragrance. Also vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. This powder foundation is back with an even stickier texture that melts into skin for undetectable all-day wear. With no caking or creasing, it provides customizable coverage and is more versatile than ever. So you can use it as a buildable foundation, setting powder, or for touch-ups. The waterproof and sweat proof formula also locks in hydration for maximum comfort. How to use, prep your complexion with your favorite skincare or preferred primer. Apply starting from the center of the face outwards for sheer coverage or to set makeup. Apply with a powder brush. For medium coverage for touch-ups or throughout the day, apply with the white side of included sponge. For full coverage, apply and build with the beige side of the included sponge. Now, when I was looking for the perfect color to match this one, it was hard. So my old one was Y245. I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little bit of a dent in here. That's how much I've used it and the sponge is just absolutely filthy. I had tried out the sponge before, but I really like using this with a powder brush and I mainly used it as a foundation setter to set on my face if I wanted a little more coverage. Now this one was beautiful. I don't know why they changed the formulation. Maybe because they wanted to make it more clean and sustainable but I'm not going to be placing this on my skin because honestly I'm afraid it might cause an allergic reaction. I already have an allergic reaction going on on my eyes right now. So I definitely want to avoid that as much as possible. And the shade I got, and this one's the 1 in 10. This one was a Y245. Now I definitely feel like this one's so like aesthetically pleasing compared to the OG Makeup Forever packaging. So beautiful. Color looks to be just about right. Formula was a little hard to really pick one out. This one's a little bit more like yellow tone. This was more neutral. So to apply this foundation, I am going to use like a, a like fluffy foundation brush. I'm going to use the Makeup by REL times Morphe A24 foundation brush. I'll try the sponge on the other side of my face. But for now, I want to try it with a brush. I did see Makeup by Spencer on TikTok talk about this powder. And he said how a lot of people were just using it wrong. So I'm going to start off with this side of my face. I am going to zoom you in a little bit more. So instead of just swiping it, I am just going to push it into my skin. You know what I should have done? I should have done concealer first. I'm just going to apply a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. And I'm just going to set it with that powder. You definitely want to place down your concealer first and then blend out. And then place the powder on top so you can set it. You definitely don't want to do the other way around because you could potentially pick up the powder. Now I'm going back in with the powder. It does feel a little bit velvety. I do like the shade I got. The other shade I was going to pick up was going to be... A little too yellow. I feel like they made the undertones of this super yellow. It is covering up a little bit of my discoloration on my face. Let's try swiping it and see if that gives a little bit more coverage. Now I do have a lot of texture on my forehead right now so let's see if that covers this up. I mean... That 
looks actually pretty darn good. Now I'm not going to build it up anymore. I'm just going to use the sponge. It says if you want full coverage with the sponge, apply and build with the beige side of the included sponge. Beige. I honestly can't tell. I feel like this is beige all around. I think it means the side right here. Can't really tell. And now I'm just going to swipe this on my skin set my under eyes go over my lids also like i said don't be alarmed i am experiencing allergic reaction but i'm powering through it now let's go over here. As you can tell, I am pressing this powder into my skin instead of just swiping it. I feel like you do get more coverage while you press it in. I mean, it is pretty much covering the redness on my forehead, which is pretty awesome. Let's see if it builds up on my breakouts right here. On my neck. Not gonna lie, this looks really good and smoothing on my face. And I wouldn't doubt once you put like the Max Fix Plus on your skin, it just melt into your skin. Now I do want to try something else. I also saw that you can build up certain areas of your skin with a denser brush. So that's what I'm going to use. This is the Thresluce B110 brush. And I'm going to go around my nose area, a little bit on my tip of my nose, like on the sides. It looks really flawless. I mean, for it just being a powder, it did do a really good job. Now, I do suggest if you do want a little bit more full coverage, then definitely go in with a denser brush and see if that will help. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I am done with all my makeup and it looks really nice. My skin looks smooth. It looks very beautiful did cover up the things I wanted it to cover up. Um, I do have to say though, I'll zoom you guys back out. I do have to say I wouldn't just use this foundation all by itself. If you're a powder girly and that's what you like to do, then by all means, that's how you would use this foundation. But for me personally, I would love to use this foundation on top of another foundation for a little bit extra coverage and use a more fluffy brush to set everything in if you catch my drift. I feel like that would be like the perfect combination with this powder. Don't get me wrong, it looks very beautiful on the skin just applied by itself. My skin looks flawless. My acne spots are semi-covered. They look good. It looks like I'm barely wearing any makeup, which I like. But I would love to use this on top of foundations. Now, is this necessary? I really don't think it is. Just because you do have setting powders and all that to set your foundation. So, I feel like this one is just meant for people who just love powder foundations overall i feel like this would definitely be for you guys but for me personally who love liquid formulas this is not really useful for me but i'm gonna keep it in my collection just because i did have this one for such a long time which i do need to discard i did use that a lot on top of my foundations and now i do feel like i am gonna start using this as well just to really lock in the coverage of my foundations and once i used my mac fix plus to really set everything everything just melted right into my skin looks super beautiful i really don't see this powder not looking horrible on my skin after a few hours and honestly feels like it will be on my face for a good amount of time so yeah there you have it if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a like comment down below what do you guys think about this powder will you be purchasing it will you be using it the same way i will be using it let me know your thoughts down below like i said before 
is very beautiful but really not necessary in your collection i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye